Hi, I'm Sarmila Basnet. Hi, and I'm Mishrali. And we'll be teaching you how to use the photocopier machines at the Winona State Library, also known as Cougar Library. The copiers at the library take coins or dollar bills from students, or window cards from students, and ID pass readers for staff and faculty. It costs 10 cents per page for a copy. Yep. And we'll be talking you, uh, telling you how to use um, the Venda card machine, um, how to use money, how to make copies, um, what to do when patrons lose their money in the copiers, and how to change the color in the copiers. This is the Venda card machine. It is a blue box situated on the first floor of the library. Um, it gives cards worth $2 and $5, and the cards look like this. This is a $2 card, and this is a $5 card. And you should remember that this machine does not give change. <laughs> now these Venda cards can be used directly in the slot of the gray charging device, which is connected to the copiers. And the copier will show the balance of these cards so you know how many copies you can make. And as Bushra told you earlier, a copy is worth 10 cents. This device uh, is connected to the photocopier, and it takes a dollar bill right here, um, coins right here in the slot, and window cards right here. Um, it's not going to take coins. Uh, if there are pennies or if it's a dollar coin, so I'm going to take that and uh, you press this for your change. If there's not enough change in the box, you won't get change back. You can come to any one of us at the information gallery and we, will, we know how to deal with it. We can probably just um, tell Susan or Kim about it and we get change back. The item to be copied should be placed on the upper left hand corner on the platform. Make sure the tray is set to auto. You can do it by pressing this button here. It says select paper tray. And if it's in auto, the uh, photocopier machine will automatically select a size for the paper. Otherwise, if you want to change the size to your preference, you can always press the select your button and select 8.5 by 11, 11 by 17, whichever the options are. Now, um, the copies, when you copy, you have to make sure that the lid is always closed. And the copies come from under the platform right down here. Yeah. So when making copies, you either put a vendor card in here or dollar bill or coins, as Bush already told you. And the balance that you have will sh be shown in this green box right here. And once you're done making photocopies, you can get your change back by pressing this, and the coin comes down here. If patrons lose money on the copiers, they usually come to the IG, and whoever is working here should fill out one of these forms. It's the photocopier reimbursement form, and uh, we just get their name and email address, and paste it on to Susan's door, and Susan O'Brien will reimburse the student. Um, in case the students still need to make more copies, we use the emergency copy part and it's right in here. That's where it is. And we just need to get down the students' initials and sign our name. When the photocopiers show a low toner sign, uh, we can always replace them by uh, new toners, which are place under the printer at the information gallery. And a photocopier toner looks like this. When you your toner on photocopiers, you might always want to bring a rag because, of course, your hands will get dirty. So, first of all, you open this door right here and lift the green handle up and press the small green lever down and then this one pops out you pull it out all the way and you remove the old toner screw the lid off of the new toner 
You can discard this one. Okay, well, you put in the new toner, push the tray back in until it clicks, and press the green lever down. Ready? And it's ready to go. After the new toner is loaded, the uh, photocopier is set to make new, new copies. Um, now the old empty toner can just be trashed in the trash can. Check on the photocopying machines is the paper trays. The topmost tray contains a size 8.5 by 11 paper in a vertical position, and that's the way it should be. While the second tray contains the same size paper in the horizontal position. And the third tray consists of 11 by 17 paper in the horizontal position.